Hi, I'm Robert Abela and I would like to welcome you to this presentation. In this presentation, we will take a look at the various capabilities the Econetics Login Sequence Recorder has. Apart from recording a login sequence, the login sequence recorder can be used to instruct the crawler to crawl a predefined path or to submit specific details when accessing forms or any other types of pages which require specific input, or else to specify which pages need manual intervention because of the unique input they require each time they are accessed, such as CAPTCHA or single sign-on forms. For this demo, we will use a .NET test web application which contains a login form, a CAPTCHA and single sign-on form, and also three forms which unless the details are filled in correctly, the user won't be able to proceed to the next one. To start off with, we try to crawl the website without configuring a login sequence. From the scroll, we can see that not all the pages have been crawled. For example, pages like CAPTCHA-success.htm, the directory login section and the last two forms from the directory tree step forms were not crawled. This is because the crawler could not access the password protected area and did not submit the expected input in all the other forms. So let's take a look at how we can use the login sequence recorder to crawl all the pages from this website. There are several ways to configure Akinetics to do most of the work for you. What's for sure is that both the CAPTCHA and single sign-on form require unique input each time they are accessed, therefore these pages should be always marked as manual intervention pages. In the first option, therefore, we will record a login sequence to scan the password protected area and mark one page for manual intervention. Once the scan is launched, Acunetics will start crawling the website and will automatically log in to the password protected section. Once the manual intervention page is being crawled, a window will pop up to allow the user to enter the desired input. Once these details are submitted, we can input the URL of other pages which require manual intervention and input the desired details. In the second option, we will again record the login sequence for the password protected area, record and store the details needed to crawl the three forms, since they always require the same details to be submitted, and mark only one page for manual intervention, in this case the CAPTCHA or single sign-on form. For this example, we will automate most of the process and use the second option. So let's start by launching the login sequence recorder from the scanner options. Click on new sequence button to launch the wizard. In the first step of the wizard, we will specify the target's URL. In the second step, from the main page, select the CAPTCHA test form and mark this URL for manual intervention. Navigate back to the main page and select form training to submit all the predefined details of the form so they are crawled automatically. Navigate back to the main page again and now we will record the login sequence. Specify a username and password and log in to the password protected section. Once logged in, click next to specify a restricted link, in this case the logout link. In the next step, we'll create an end session detection rule, just in case the session expires or is invalidated, the scanner can notice this and replay the login sequence automatically. In the last step, we can see a summary of all the recorded URLs and excluded links. Once we recorded the login sequence, we'll use the crawler to confirm that the pages in the website can be crawled. In the crawler node, we enter the desired URL, select the newly created login sequence, and we'll start crawling the website. For this demo, we will only crawl the website since the scope of this video is simply to show the capabilities of the login sequence recorder and how to use it to automate and ease most of the crawling. Once the manual intervention window pops up, we can enter the details required from the CAPTCHA form. Once such information is submitted, we can enter the URL of the single sign-on form, which again is another page which requires manual intervention, and submit the desired input details as well.
Once ready, we click the done button and the crawler will continue crawling the page. As opposed to the previous scroll, now we can see that all the pages have been crawled. The password protected pages, the tree forms, and also the captcha and single sign-on success pages. While I'd like to thank you for watching this video, please visit www.acunetics.com for further information on Acunetics WVS.